I have loved glass for as long as I can remember. In my youth, I collected glass animals and vintage glassware. But it wasn't until I learned to create glass beads using a torch that my passion for glass was truly ignited. I enjoy the process of melting glass and shaping it in the flame, blending colors and creating textures that are only achievable in this amazing medium. Much of my recent work is focused on the creation of items that look ancient, as if they've just been found in an archeological dig. Many of the pieces I create have been inspired by masks used in traditional ceremonies from around the world. After completing a residency at the Museum of Glass in Tacoma, Washington, where I worked with their team of glassblowers to create large-scale versions of my mask beads, I was inspired to learn glass sand casting, which is a perfect technique for me to use to create large-scale sculptures. In sand casting, I start by creating a sculpture in clay or wood, which I press into wet sand in a glass blowing studio to create a mold. Then I embellish the mold with many smaller shapes that I've created or collected. Masks are powerful because of their transformational properties, I think. By putting one on, you can become someone or something else, a spirit, an ancestor, an animal, or someone with supernatural powers. While I have embraced the notion of working on a small scale creating glass beads, I have also wanted to challenge myself by learning new ways to create my work in glass. I use soot to create a buffer between the sand and the hot glass, then sprinkle glass powders into the mold to add color to the form prior to pouring the glass. I am inspired by what can be found through these objects and the revelations that they bring. Wonder, reflection, and a connection to the past. With the glass in the furnace at 2300 degrees Fahrenheit, we pull out a ladleful and pour it into the mold using scissors to cut away the excess glass at the end of the pour. My work is about what has been lost and what can be found. I love the idea of the hunt, the small gleaming shell found in the sand, a gold coin among the brass ones, the lost earring recovered from between the sofa cushions, the unloved treasures at the side of the road. I use a torch to remove bubbles and let the piece evenly cool to the point that the glass is no longer moving. Then we pull the piece out of the sand and place it in a kiln. After 40 hours of cooling, the cast glass mask will be complete. 